Hi everyone, really good to see you again today. Now, I've been to two Toby Carveries today. I went to the one in Yule and that was so packed I couldn't sort of get in. So clearly it's very popular still. Now, Eagle Eyes amongst you would recognize this one. We've come to Worcester Park. Now we've done a comparison video about six months ago. So take a look at that one if you can. Today, we're actually gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna have a starter, I'm gonna have the Carvery and I wanna have a dessert. I wanna do the full range here. Now, a few of you have said, Gary, why do you jog when you actually go to the restaurant? I need the exercise, guys. As always, let's give it a go. And the exercise. Actually, guys, on Friday, we're trying a completely different cuisine. And this will be the last time I'm coming to Toby Carvery. Come in. Okay, so here we are inside. Now, actually, service, what can I say? Uh, we're sitting out there and it was really, really noisy and busy. I said, is there any chance of coming in here where it's a little bit quieter? I said, yeah, no problem at all, we'll open up for you. Top draw, so thank you for that. Now, having a quick look at their menu. Um, you've got the starters and sharers, you've got Toby tasters. Now, I'm gonna stop there for a moment because I'm gonna have one of them starters. You've got a range of three prawn cocktails, soup of the day, or mini pigs in blankets. I'm gonna go for the prawn cocktail, which is juicy prawns with crisp lettuce, seafood sauce, served with wholemeal bread. Interesting thing there, that's only £3.99, which I think gives a thumbs up from me. Then on to the Toby tasters. And I've gone for this because obviously I can share it with the cameraman, but two for £4.99. I'll tell you what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for the popping chicken and I'm gonna go for their cherry tomato tart tartin, or tatin. Now, um, that's cherry tomatoes with balsamic um, glaze topped with goat's cheese. That sounds really, really good. And popping chicken topped with crispy onions and barbecue sauce. Yeah, thumbs up. Now, our famous roast carvery. Hang on, before I come to that, they've also got some Yorkie wraps and sandwiches here. Uh, so you fancy a sandwich, they've got a fantastic range of ve uh, vegetarian, vegan, and fish there as well. But I'm going to go for their famous roast carvery. Uh, now, it's a choice of three meats. I don't know what the meats are at the moment, uh, but I will take a look in a minute. Now, uh, Monday to Friday, that's only £10.29. Saturdays, 11 49 Sundays and bank holidays, £14.49. Uh, now, a bit later, I'm going to come over to the Toby Pudding Company. We've got about 10 different um, puddings on there, but let's see how this one first lot goes, first of all. Okay, I'll see you when the prawn cocktail arrives. Okay, so my prawn cocktail's arrived. Let's take a close up on that. I do like the presentation there. Now you've got some lure pack butter and three um, half slices of uh, brown bread. Now guys, I'm not gonna make this all long winded because you'll be watching me for the next half hour, hour and what have you. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't wanna do that. So let's tuck in here, see what the prawn cocktail tastes like. So you've got some cherry tomatoes in there. Nice squeeze of lemon. I'll, I'll, take, I'll do a squeeze of lemon in a second. And you could hear the crispness there of that lettuce. Really juicy prawns that. What I do like is the sauce. That sauce is excellent. It's creaminess to it. Tiny bit of um, heat in there as well, but clearly very fresh. Portion size, that is excellent. For three pound ninety nine, there's plenty of prawns in there. You've got the cherry tomatoes. They are juicy. That is very good. Also, Silvio, just for you, I've got myself a glass of their house white wine, uh, one hundred seventy five milliliters, only four pound fifty. Fruity and tasty. Okay, I'm gonna crack on here. See you guys shortly. The Toby taste has arrived. There's my cherry tomato um, tart and my chicken, um, popcorn chicken. Now on that, I'm gonna start with them. We've got some onions on there and some barbecue sauce. So let's dive in. It's only a little chicken breast in coating there. What's the onion there and the barbecue sauce? Actually, quite tasty. Nice and crunchy. Mm. 
I like them. And again, portion-wise, there's plenty in there. It's got to be 12, sort of 14 in there. No, I do like them. Mm. Now. On to my cherry tomato uh, top, with a little bit of goat's cheese on top. Let's just take a look there. Nice Christmas there. Let's pull that apart. There you can already see the juices from them cherry tomatoes there. Going into that pastry. That's all else. It's got a really nice aroma as well. So. That is very hot, first of all. I like that pastry. And what I really like, and again, I just want to have to show you here, just how these, look, they're just popping. They're really sweet. And as you can see, so juicy. And the cheese there, that works so well together. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it, there is a vegan op option as well. But there's also, right underneath, I think there's an onion glaze there as well, which again, makes it nice and moist, so. Hmm, now guys, we could actually just come in here and just do the carvery and just do a review of the carvery, but what I'm interested in saying and showing you guys is how much more is actually on offer. And I'm really impressed. That's excellent. I'd have that again every day of the week. They're a little bit boring, but still very tasty. So, you know, it's just giving your eyes a treat and seeing what's actually available. And price-wise, Five pounds for both of them. Six of value, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna crack on and see you guys when I get the roast. I gotta say, what a nice chef. Went up there, um, you could have pork, you could have uh, beef, you can have turkey and gammon. I've gone for the beef, the turkey and the gammon. That was interesting, as he was carving off the beef, he said, look, there's a brand new joint, do you want me to cut a few slices off and then go in? I said, no, no, I'll take it as it comes. Now I've got some roast potatoes in there, cauliflower cheese, um, red cabbage, obviously the obligatory Yorkshire pudding, uh, some stuffing, some peas. I've got some mustard and some cranberry sauce. Now you've got to bear in mind, I'm not overloading the plate. You can go up there and get as much as you want. Um, but for my end, it's a nice, nice portion there. Now, if I finish off eating all the, um, the roast potatoes, I can just go straight back up and get another um, couple of roast potatoes. And the same with the Yorkshire pudding. So no need to overload your plate at all. Okay, let's tuck in and see what the meat tastes like. Now, I'm, I'm, again, I've already done this on the channel, so there's no need for to see all the images of the food up there. So let's start with the beef. Now, as I said, the chap up there turned around and said, it's a brand new uh, joint, so. That's wrong. That is so tender, it's a brand new, uh, joint there so you know sometimes if you get the end bits they can be a little bit dry and uh, but if you look cut in there pull that away then you can see that is the end piece there I always find as well when you have it at the end that's the bit with all the flavoring that is very good beef now let's move that out of the way and the roast is out of the way for a second Let's try a bit of turkey. And that just falls apart. That turkey is so moist. It's really tender. I love, just again, just if you take a close up here, it just literally, just pulling away. I've got to have that with some cranberry. Two out of two. Fantastic. Now for the gammon. Just cutting in there. I can tell you already how tender that gammon is. Just literally just cuts no problem at all. All three meats there are cooked perfectly. 
all full of flavor with the gammon there nice saltiness coming through but the thing that's really got me here is how tender all of them are they are so tender that's a massive th thumbs up from me now let's try one of these roasties that's already got the gravy on them beef gravy i understand Again, they are very, very tasty. They're not much crispness on the outside because obviously it's been soaked in the gravy, but packed with flavor. Wow, that's really good. Now, here's one that hasn't had anything involved. Let's pull that apart. That's not as good. Just needs that little bit more cooking. Um, that's not the, you can see that there. Unfortunately, that's not a good um, roast potato. Anyhow, onwards and upwards. Let's try some of the uh, cauliflower cheese. So many of you don't reckon cauliflower cheese should be on a roast dinner. I actually really do. Hmm. I do like the way that cauliflower has been cooked. Again, a little bit of crunch in there. Now, should cauliflower cheese be on a roast dinner? I'm saying definitely yes. Let's leave that there for a second. Now, go on to the red cabbage. Now, if you're, you're complaining about cauliflower cheese, then red cabbage can be a definite no-no to a lot of people. No issue with that. Nice crunch there. My peas. Do you know, if I say it, you're all going to go mad. for the stuffing. The peas are peas, by the way. I'm gonna have the stuffing there with the um, turkey. No complaints on the stuffing. Now the Yorkshire. I've obviously soaked this in gravy. I moved it over there, that was a bad call. Let's push that there. I'm always my complaints on carveries is I always find that the um, Yorkshires go rock hard. Now it's simple. The Yorkshire is a little bit dry. This one's like no problems. Just put a bit of gravy in there. Soon moistens it up if you like. All the meats, tender. No issues there. And what I really like, I've been here a couple of times and it is consistent. It's consistently good. It really is good. Yeah. Right, I'm going to tuck in. I'll see you when it's time for dessert. All in all, that beef is so good. Ooh, I'm a little bit full up. Now, earlier on, I actually said they've got a range of about eight desserts. Actually, they haven't. I've just counted them. There's over, well, there's 12 exactly. Now, they've got apple pie. I'm not going to go through each individual one, but they've got apple pies, they've got sticky toffee pudding. You know, I like that. Got ice creams, rice puddings there. But you know what I'm going to have? I'm going to go for their chocolate fudge cake. It says here it's gooey, delicious, hot or cold. It's only got 556 calories. Not much jogging for me afterwards. Served so with your choice of freshly whipped cream, dairy ice cream or custard. I've actually lied because I'm gonna have it with dairy ice cream and that's another 112 calories, so I'm definitely put it on. And that is only five pound 29. And I don't think it's gonna to take too long to arrive because here it is, the miracles of TV. Look at that, definitely, definitely bursting with calories, isn't it? Right, let's tuck in. Oh, that does look gooey, actually. Mm. It's so heavy and thick with chocolate. A sponge, perfect. Oh, damn me. It does need the ice cream with it, though. That's a good pudding. Bursting with gooeyness. Now, you know something? I need to do a lot more desserts on the channel. And do you know why? 
because I really like them. I've neglected desserts. Definitely more required. I'll see you guys shortly. Mm. That is so rich. Definitely, definitely get ice cream with it because that is gooey and rich. Okay, so I've got the bill and I've paid the bill. Uh, 29.09. Uh, and that includes obviously my £4.50, my very nice glass of uh, white wine. Then you're looking down, prawn cocktail, £3.99. Very nice prawn cocktail. Was it the best one I've ever had? No, but it was a nice prawn cocktail. Uh, my two tasters, the popping chicken and the tomato um, tartan, the tartan, tartan. Um, two for four ninety nine. Excellent value. Uh, the popping chicken I could take or leave. You know, that wasn't the greatest, but I did really like the tart. Now, when it comes to the carvery at ten twenty nine. I think that's incredible value. Now, I'm not silly. It all depends on your timing. You know, I've been to carveries and I've had bad carveries and. If you can go in there when the meat's just being laid out, you're gonna end up having a fantastic one, especially when the veg um, is all just being put out as well. And other times you can go back and the meat can be very dry, it can be very tough, you know. But today was a good day for me. And it was a good day. I thought the carvery was really good. All in all, you can only review what's in front of you. Oh, hang on, I've forgotten. That was very gooey, very, very um, gooey. The fudge cake was £5.29. So yeah, what mark am I gonna give it? What mark would you give it? Now, again, I don't want people coming in saying, oh, I went to Toby Carvery and it was absolutely rubbish. It was this, it was that. It's all about the timing, isn't it? And I'm, I've explained that. And it all depends maybe where you go. This one today, I thought was really good. Everything about it, I think the standards, the service, the music, everything. But Mark, I'm going to give it an eight and a half out of 10 and a really well-deserved eight and a half out of 10. And I was actually airing a little bit higher and I was like, no, no, eight and a half is, is where we're at. Love to hear your comments. Really, really would like to hear what you think of the meal. And have you been to Toby Carvery? If you've been, obviously hundreds of you have been. What's your thoughts? I think Toby Carvery is the best chain I've been to. I think it's the best. All in all, I've got to tell you, I was impressed all around. Service, everything. If you like and subscribe to the channel, you know I always appreciate that. And until next time, I can't disappear. Some coats behind the cameraman. Cheers.